Hey everyone, today I've got a three pack of videos, I believe for you guys, with a bunch of Tears of the Kingdom information. Uh, I am not a Nintendo Insider, I want to make that very clear. I just happen to know people in retail, I happen to have a few connections I have made over the years. Remember, I used to run the largest Zelda Nintendo news site in the world, I've been to many E3s as well. Uh, I just happen to have contacts in some various areas. And when it comes to Zelda stuff, naturally I try to get everything I can. Getting Zelda information is very difficult to do, but isn't impossible as we get a lot closer to a game coming out. And I've got brand new details to drop today about various gameplay elements and aspects being added to the game. But this video is actually gonna be focusing on something that I have direct proof I can show you. The other stuff is just things I have heard and had verified by multiple sources. But the thing I'm going to focus on in this video is not only been verified by multiple sources, I have some direct evidence to give you as well. And what is that? Well, that is the Tears of the Kingdom Special Edition Switch OLED. So, look, we obviously talked in a prior video about how the the leaked the leaked Zelda OLED edition is likely real. Almost all of the symbols are present in the collector's edition or other various pieces of official merchandise. But what's interesting is not that that's real, but when are we going to get it? And at least according to GameStop, and I can say this with confidence because I have now double checked with one of my local managers, there is a new SKU for a brand new Switch that has shown up in their back end system. And here's a small look at it. I can't show you the full screen, of course. I don't want to give away any exact details here. This is confirmed to be the back-end system. I've seen the back-end system. I've been shown the back-end system. Probably shouldn't have been shown it, but whatever. The point is that this is real, and if you know anything about GameStop's back-end system, you'll know exactly why it's real, why the numbers you're seeing mean a new Switch. And it has a release date on it of March 10th. Now, I do think March 10th is a little soon that's a little over a month from now of course nintendo can do a twitter drop anytime between now and then announcing the system they've done this with prior ones i didn't think they would release anything until april but then again maybe they want to boost switch sales before the end of the fiscal year hence dropping it in march you know they could do this whole celebration thing of oh it's the sixth anniversary of switch also it's the sixth anniversary of breath of the wild so now we're going to launch this new zelda edition uh, OLED system. So that is what the back end of their system says. But I have some additional information as well that I can't necessarily show you the direct evidence of for reasons that will get get people in trouble. Uh, but it does appear that there will be a second collector's edition for Tears of the Kingdom. Now, this second collector's edition is supposedly a master edition. That's at least what it's being called. It is something that is not announced at this point. Why they wouldn't announce it's beyond me, maybe just because of the pre-order fiasco over the other collector's edition. So there's basically three versions. You have your regular edition, the collector's edition, and then the master edition. And the master edition is the most expensive of the bunch. I would assume probably a $200 edition. What's included in it? Is not known now we've seen various uh, items pop up across the internet for pre-order bonuses right GameStop doing like this pre-order thing where they're uh, in the US where they're giving you what looks like a wooden plaque uh, you've seen other places actually have tears of the kingdom coins and stuff like that so maybe this stuff is what's included in it also maybe there's a statue or something we saw that obviously with breath of the wild they had an edition where you could get a master sword statue so Maybe that is something. Again, why this isn't announced yet is beyond me. Maybe it won't be something that's available for pre-order. Maybe it's a first come, first serve in person. Or they just wanted to spread out the announcements of this to spread out the news about this game. That is a thing that Nintendo likes to do as well. So this is just something to keep in mind. These two things uh, being, you know, happening. It, I, I don't know when they're going to be announced. I don't have any information on that. This is just information coming from retail uh, from some people I happen to know at GameStop. So you guys let me know what you think about this in the comments below. And if you doubt that I actually have contacts at GameStop, I did a video a couple of years ago about some posters and stuff that they were handing out. And we speculated about whether or not back in 2021, if this was going to be part of a 35th anniversary event, that was something I couldn't confirm. But what I could get were images just like you saw today of direct proof of that i know people and can gain access to certain things at gamestop at least for now i'm trying not to get anybody in trouble that's why i just say local manager we got 
a bunch of local game stops. I don't want to give anything more than that away. That being said, you guys are epic and awesome and amazing. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, I've got a couple more videos to drop. Some really interesting on some game information. We're getting, I think, a three-pack out today, plus saving one video for tomorrow. So uh, you're, you're not going to want to miss these ones uh, and how they got verified and everything because uh, there are some things I know about Tears of the Kingdom right now that, uh, <laughs> let's just say I had some dreams, some dreams about it. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you in that next video.